In a major tech forward move, the Indian Special Forces are set to integrate electric motorcycles and electric manned UAVs into their operations. These next gen electric vehicles offer key advantages. They reduce the noise, lower heat signatures, and are less dependent on fossil fuels, thus making them ideal for stealth and high mobility missions in rugged or remote terrains. The introduction of electric manned UAVs, a new hybrid of drone and aircraft, opens up possibilities for reconnaissance, rapid deployment and engagement, all with quieter and more energy efficient edge. This makes a significant step towards greener, smarter warfare, blending cutting edge technology with strategic capabilities. In a significant leap towards modernizing combat readiness, the Indian Special Forces are moving to adapt electric motorcycles and electric manned UAVs, a move that signals a deeper shift towards stealth, sustainability and self-reliance in military operations. These electric platforms offer crucial advantages with low noise, minimal heat signatures and reduced dependence on fossil fuels thus making them ideal for stealth operations in rugged and high-altitude terrains like Ladakh or the Northeast where India's elite units often operate. This development aligns with global trends in military modernization, but for India, it's also a strategic necessity. Especially along its sensitive borders like the line of control with Pakistan and line of actual control with China, where stealth and speed can determine mission success. India has been ramping up investments in indigenous defense technology, including UAVs designed for long-range surveillance and precision strike. Contracts with domestic firms like IG Drones reflect a clear push under Atmanirbhar Bharat initiative, an Indian drive towards defense self-reliance. The switch to electric and locally developed systems also address security concerns especially after early revelations of Chinese components in imported drones which sparked fears towards cyber vulnerabilities and electronic espionage. But while the move is bold, it comes with challenges. Electric motorcycles may struggle with battery life in extreme cold and charging infrastructure in remote zones is still a logistical puzzle. And when it comes to electric manned UAVs, questions remain. Traditional UAVs are unmanned by design, so are we looking at small piloted aircraft or hybrid drones with dual-use capabilities? Either way, they will need to withstand electronic warfare threats, especially from adversaries like China and Pakistan. The move also appears to be a direct countermeasure to regional threats, with China deploying high-end drones and Pakistan using UAVs to cross-border surveillance and smuggling. India's focus on tech-enhanced special forces is a strategic recalibration. Recent edition like Nagastra-1, a kamikaze drone and Subal-20 logistics drone showcases India's commitment to precision and tactical flexibility, thus combining efficiency with battlefield innovation. And there may be a diplomatic layer too, embracing green warfare. India's image as a responsible global player, aligning military advancements with environmental consciousness. But on the battlefield, results matter more than optics. Whether these electric systems can deliver the reliability and reliance, the special forces demand in real-world scenario remains to be seen. But if successful, India could set a new global benchmark where eco-conscious technology meets elite combat performance. Electric efficient and increasingly indigenized, India's special forces may be stepping into the future a quite revolution at a time.